Hey, Jack Retz here from Northeast Music Center in Pennsylvania. And uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the Wood Library run that we did with uh, Paul Reed Smith Guitars. Uh, several months ago, Paul Smith, Jim Cullen, and Mike Dealey uh, approached us about doing a Wood Library guitar. And because the McCarty guitar is our favorite PRS of all time, we decided to uh, base the whole guitar on the McCarty, which Paul did uh, in the mid-90s. Uh, the McCarty guitar is a little bit different than the other guitars. It uh, has an East Coast maple top on it uh, instead of West Coast. Uh, East Coast maple has a shorter growing season, so the annual rings are tighter together and typically uh, change the hardness of the wood. Uh, while the back is done in thicker mahogany, uh, we happen to do this one in striped mahogany. And uh, we also paired it up with a highly figured curly maple neck and uh, decided to do Brazilian Rosewood fretboard on all 12 of them. Uh, six of our guitars will be done in uh, highly figured curly maple necks and six of them are done in mahogany necks. Uh, a couple things that Paul suggested that we had done is uh, we decided to go with the 5815 pickups which are a lower output pickup uh, and also we're using the new bridge that they designed that now has some brass inserts in the edges of the bridge uh, to give it even more clarity, more sustain, make the guitar just a simply better sounding guitar. Um, the pickups are also splittable so we can go to single coil mode when you need to and uh, the early McCarty's had uh, the tulip style tuners on them. We were using the phase three with the locking tuners on it so never ever should you have any tuning issues with this guitar of any kind. Uh, Jonathan's going to do some playing for you here in a little bit and uh, let you guys hear what this thing sounds like. And uh, if you have any questions about the guitar, we're certainly more than happy to answer for you. Okay? Check you later. 